Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Killer Bunny here, and today we got a random match with Xenon. I actually messaged him and I said, "Yo, what's up, Xenon? Do you want to have a random match just for the lols, just for the fun of it?" And he was like, "Sure, that sounds pretty cool." So, yeah, we set up a random match, and it was kind of fun. You know, I never really did anything like this before, and I actually didn't plan on recording this, but it turned out to be a great match. I mean, I just like I. It feels so honored to be able to battle like a Pokemon legend like Xenon. He's just awesome, and yeah, I'm just so he's like way better than I am. So <laughs> I don't even really stand a, a decent chance sometimes, but uh, especially in the last battle that we had, it he totally slaughtered me. But um, yeah, anyway. Um, talk about the team preview a little bit. Oh yeah, and excuse me for my sprites. Uh, they are kind of messed up. I tried to use animated sprites and they actually kind of got messed up. They weren't messed up when I was editing the photo, but um, yeah, when I saved it, it kind of got messed up and I was too lazy to go back and fix them because you could kind of tell what they are and actually it kind of looks kind of cool. They like get all smeared looking, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, Threats on there on uh, Xenon's team is definitely the Skunk Tank because it does carry the Sucker Punch and sometimes the Pursuit. I don't think his carries the Pursuit, but um, sometimes they do carry the Pursuit and it's like really annoying because the Sucker Punch and Pursuit are both stab. And uh, considering that I have pretty weak defensive Pokemon on my team, that uh, nobody's really gonna like a Pursuit to the face. But he actually doesn't carry Pursuit, so it's not that big of a deal. But he does carry the Sucker Punch, so. Uh, you gotta always deal with that, and uh, definitely gotta get rid of the Evire because, yeah, my Garvantula is choice specs, and it is gonna be basically Volt switching is really all it's gonna be doing uh, for the most part, and you're definitely gonna want to get rid of the Evire if you're gonna be Volt switching around because it does carry the motor drive, and it could just come in and just absorb your electricity and get a speed boost. So yeah, that's always. A threat and then you gotta watch out for the Gorbis just because Gorbis usually always shell smashes and then potentially a sweep. Um, I actually had a lot of trouble with every Pokemon except uh, the Gorbis and the Sawsbuck as you'll see in this match. It is high, it is bad quality but um, yeah I hope you guys still do enjoy because I really did. He does lead off with Evire and I lead off with Garvantula which is a great great um, great lead for him and he pulls the double switch as I go into my uh, Skeptile so that's a really good switch on his part and now I'm just gonna go into dust ox just to take really anything I predicted the pursuit but he actually just goes for a night slash and that does about half and now I'm just gonna go for a quiver dance as he goes for a taunt so that's a good move on his part and then I'm like okay dust tox this is your time to shine go for a bug buzz and knock this thing out right no wrong it does like 10 percent i'm like wow dust tox you're even more useless than i thought you were and yeah so i'm just gonna get out of here and i'm gonna go into my altaria and take that night slash not very well it does about half and i'm just like oh my gosh this gun take is really annoying me goes for Night Slash, I just hope that he doesn't get a crit, and he doesn't, so I just go for an Earthquake, almost take it out, it nearly takes it out, but it barely lives. It's like, argh, if I would've just switched into this thing directly and went for an Earthquake, it probably would've freaking, no, no, I take that back, no, it wouldn't have died, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna switch out and go into my Skeptile, because I don't want to sack my Altaria yet, because I do know I can outspeed it. I'm just gonna go for the Dragon Pulse as he switches into Sawsbuck. And now I'm just going to go for the Focus Blast as he switches into Genghiscon, but it misses. I'm like, damn, that really sucks. I'm going to use that Focus Blast damage on this Genghiscon. Now I'm just going to go into Dust Dox. I predicted the Fake Out, but he actually goes for the Sub, which is kind of interesting. Like, I don't really see Sub Genghiscons. Uh, well, actually, that's not true. I think they can run Focus Punch. Um, but uh, he just goes for the Frustration and takes me out. And he's behind a Sub, so, you know, that's... Xenon just being awesome. So I'm just gonna go into Garvantula, Volt Switch just to break his sub, and now I'm just gonna go into my um, Vespa Queen or Vespa Quinn and uh, take really anything because I'm max HP. Uh, I'm actually max special defense, but he does predict the Volt Switch with a good play on his part, so he just puts him another sub. He goes for the Workup, which is kind of funny because I go for the Defend Order, which is like, wow, Workup. Um, workup raises your special attack and attack by one, and defense order um, increases your defense and special defense by one, so it was like, wow, really. 
<laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna go for the attack order and break his sub. As he goes for the frustration, that does nearly half. It seems like every time he hits me, it does like nearly half. It's like really. Uh, but he's gonna go for another frustration, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the roost and uh, just heal up because he is doing about like 40, 40 ish percent kind of after leftover so I know I could definitely roost up more and now he predicts me to just go for another roost but um, I do predict him to over predict and I go for an attack order but that does like nothing and I'm like oh my gosh like I have such useless Pokemon it's like not even funny but he's just gonna put up a substitute and I predict that and go for the U-turn hopefully to break it I get a crit, not sure if that mattered just to break the substitute, but yeah, I, I broke the substitute either way. That makes up for my focus blast miss. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go into Arvantula. He knows I can take him out from this range. I'm guessing he predicted the Volt Switch, but I'm just going to go for the Bug Buzz because I really did not want to risk like anything taking like you know E-Fire coming in or anything. So um, he switches into Evire and that nearly takes it out, but now he's just going to switch into Genghiskhan to sack his Genghiskhan because he knows I'm definitely Specs after nearly taking out his Evire. So he's going to be able to take a safe switch in to come into Lapras and now he's setting up with Dragon Dance, which is kind of weird. I didn't even know Lapras got Dragon Dance. Kind of freaking weird. Like, but anyway, he does go for the Confuse Ray and I actually just went for the U-turn and just get out of here, but he goes for the Confuse Ray and like I hit myself and I was like wow oh my gosh this Lapras is trolling me and now he's at plus two so I know he's most likely gonna be able to outspeed my Garvantula actually I'm pretty sure I mean if he's, if he's a Dragon Dance set he's most likely like max HP max speed or something like that I don't even know no probably not he's probably max attack I don't even freaking know but he goes for Confuse Ray on my incoming Gyarados and I actually do get the Dragon Dance up and I break through the confusion so that is really nice. Now this is the key point of the match right here. He goes for the frustration. That is not going to be enough to take me out. So he's most likely match max HP. I go through the confusion hacks and I hit the stone edge. That is nearly the game right there. If he, um, if my Gyarados would have hit itself in confusion or missed the stone edge, the game would have been over. The game would have been Xenon. Spoiler, it is not his. But uh, yeah, I am going to predict the Sucker Punch as he goes into the Skug Pig, so yeah, I'm going to um, be able to avoid that um, by going into my Skeptile, and now Skeptile is fast enough to take out anything on his team. He's going to go for the Gorbis, I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain and take it out. I actually have the Grass Gym, which is kind of even funnier because I can for sure take this thing out one hit and get about half of my health back. So. That's really nice. He goes in the Saws book, and I'm just gonna go for the Focus Blast just because, like, lol, I didn't really care if I missed or not. <laughs> and now uh, he is gonna go into his last Pokemon, which is his Electivire, and I'm just gonna go for the Focus Blast again, which is, like, funny. He was, like, really Focus Blast? Like, you can just Giga Drain? I was like, no, I gotta end it with the lols. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. I mean, either way, I had the game because I could have went into Garvantula and just killed. Sawsbuck and Evire with a uh, Bug Buzz, so either way I did have the game, but that's good game Xenon, like honestly, that game was basically a coin flip, I mean, it came down to if I missed the Stone Edge, or if I hit myself in Confusion, that the game would have been over, so, I mean, it was a 5-0 victory for me, but I don't want anybody to think that it was a total blowout and that it was one-sided because it really wasn't it was really freaking close it came down to that stone edge hitting and me breaking through that confusion because he could have swept with that Lapras basically um, but that is gonna be the game and thank you so much Xenon for letting me have the opportunity to uh, have that random battle with you it was really awesome I had a lot of fun with it and I definitely recommend that you guys go check out Xenon's channel. He's like, if you guys like my videos, you like my narrations, and you think that I'm a good Pokemon battler, you should definitely check out Xenon, because he's pretty freaking awesome. He's like, he's my favorite uh, uh, commentator. He's my favorite uh, Pokemon battler. I just think his battle style is great. He does like... He's just awesome. He, you guys need to go check him out. If you haven't checked him out already, then you haven't seen anything. If you like my videos, you haven't seen anything yet. You gotta go see Xenon. He's just absolute beast. 
Um, but yeah, if you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. And um, I will leave Xenon's link in the description. So um, yeah, go ahead and click on that. And um, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace!